I was listening to the shit show on the way home. Oh, fantastic. And uh, I heard uh, uh, E-Rock and you talking, and right off the bat, it was wrestling. E-Rock, and E-Rock even said, he goes, you know, I know Anthony said we just talk about wrestling, and then he goes, but, and then I hear wrestling talk. Well, people <laughs> underestimate how spiteful Eric is. Yeah. So just the fact that you said that made him... For like the wrestling thing was not what I was talking about, and then he just started asking me questions asking about, about wrestling. the wrestling show. So I'm listening. It gave me a little chuckle at <laughs> I was listening to more wrestling talk between you two. And then we ended up talking about his condom in the garbage again. Yes, yes. You were talking about the precious Nagel seed, the Prince Nagel seed. Prince Nagel seed <laughs> that uh, apparently women uh, were just. Uh, jumping in the garbage for to get the condom to squeeze like so much space food into her vagina. That's right. And make uh, perhaps a young Nagel a prince. Everybody wanted to bear a Nagel at one point. (laughs) Bear a Nagel. (laughs) Eric was disgusted. (laughs) He really is. He yelled at me in the office because he goes, you always do this. You always take one little thing I say and then make up this giant story around it that never happened. But it did and happen. I go, this is what this is. I just report the facts. This is what you said. I the, mean, and I'm not from Florida. He is from Florida. Yeah, of course he you is. Know. We've and seen he does drink Long Coke Island. floats. He drinks yeah. Coke floats all the time. I don't do that floats. either. It's his treat of choice. And he takes condoms home in yes. his pocket. In his pocket. So <laughs> that the girls cannot get that <laughs> precious Nagel Prince seed. Nagel seed <laughs> to bear a Nagel. Uh, and, and, and the odd thing is, with the way this story came about, and I told it, but I, I have to tell it again, yeah. was that Eric was very nervous one day. He had, he had, uh, uh, had, had sex with a girl and uh, used a condom and then d- did what he usually does, tucks it in his pocket. Right, ties so a knot in the ties end. Ties a knot in the end to, then, to secure the nagel seed. He slides it in the small pocket that's in the, small in the <laughs> big pocket. <laughs> the where pocket you, you put your serious ID in. Your watch fob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your cum fob. <laughs> Just to make sure it's nice and tight packed in yes. there. Right. And, and he was a little worried because the girl actually asked him, hey, where's the condom? Right. Uh, which, which got the nagel antenna up going, hey, why the fuck is she looking for a condom in the in the bathroom garbage? She wants to squeak out some fucking Prince Nagel seed She's after and make seed. a Nagel. Yes. Not realizing the more logical explanation is she's fucking someone else and no. did not want that other person to go in the bathroom and see a condom full of fucking cum in it. I think. So she was sorting looking so she could throw it out or flush it down the bowl so when the boyfriend comes over... Or the guy that Eric assumed wasn't be- fucking her uh, d- wouldn't find the condom. Or she just wanted to make absolutely sure that she wasn't going to have some dumbbell in her belly <laughs> and the condom didn't come yes. off. Or break, <laughs> have a rip in it. Well, oh. I think this must have happened in the Florida days. And in those days, people around yes. there knew the Nagels were American royalty. <laughs> oh, come on, please. And so his seed was of such value that he knew... He had to pack his sperm up. Like a prize racehorse. Exactly. In yeah. a little rubber condom, tie a knot, and bring it with him. Take it with you. Always bring it home with you. So you, you know you. I'm seeing it. Yes. And he would bury it somewhere. He would never just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> no, of course not. He bury would bury it. the Nagel seed and allow nature to have it. <laughs> Return it yeah. to wh- you'd, whence it came. You'd see a bunch of trees growing upside down. <laughs> fucking rotten fruit on them. <laughs> <laughs> the trunk is a little too big. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing on top, of course. <laughs> Bears no real fruit. It, it moves just as quickly as Eric. <laughs> oh, that's right. Trees rooted. <laughs> oh, we're kidding, Mr. Nagel. Yeah, there coconuts is... are there and they fall and they're just empty. There's nothing delicious <laughs> in them. <laughs> there is a house somewhere, though, that's buried like being buried on an ancient Indian burial ground oh, of just with just shoeboxes full yeah. of used condoms. <laughs> yes, yes. It. It's like a poltergeist of used condoms. Right, right, right. Where, where uh, things happen, strange occurrences. And a little like ghost Nagel Spermatozoas <laughs> on the yes. house. Look into the cannoli, Carol Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of a bright fruit food. <laughs> Eric, you, can, you, you can't deny any of this. Well, one... Wasn't in Florida because I'm from Long Island. <laughs> oh, that's a lie. Two, it was thrown out of the car like on the Southern Stater in Hexer Park. What right. Hexer Park? <laughs> <laughs> on the, the Sancta Coast? <laughs> yeah. No, it, was, it was the park right near where I live. So if you were right. you know, out in that, those far uh, oh, ends east, where the old boat docks east are. East Islip around there. Yeah. 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 
Wow, there's a lot of nagel spermatozoa over there. Sure is. Somebody's uh-huh. going to be searching through there today looking yeah, for yeah. that used condom L- from so many years luscious ago. Luscious meal for the horseshoe crabs. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of semi-retarded horseshoe crabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric. And you know what the fun thing about this is? It's early enough in the show where... Sam could just go off on this later. Yeah. Hey, earlier in the show, you might have heard us talking about the precious Nagel seed. I mean, we could even replay this portion of the show later because it's it's a whole new audience. Yeah, it's all fresh then. Yeah, yeah ten. Yeah, yeah. Three, Where do your parents yeah. live? They're they're now in West Palm Beach. Oh, okay, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back with the family. Right, right. right. Where, right. you know, that's what I thought. Back where uh, where Eric's from. Exactly. They decided to move back home once Eric went to college. Where is that cool picture taken where you're uh, driving the boat? That is on the uh, the Indian River. Where's that? That's uh, the between the Atlantic Ocean and uh, the mainland in Florida. Oh, Florida. Oh, Florida. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, that makes sense then. Okay, Florida. gotcha. And what year was that? Oh. That one is 2002. <laughs> 2002, oh, cool. Florida. Florida. I got gotcha. you. Hometown. The the best is the picture, and then the pretty cool, huh, <laughs> up top. <laughs> that was added because yes. he was Eric was once caught. Should I tell the pretty cool story? Oh, Eric, please. Are you ever aware of why people started saying pretty cool, huh? No. <laughs> okay. Well, he was caught once. I can't remember if Danny or Travis caught him. It's a wonderful picture of Eric driving a motorboat. On uh, nice blue water. It's a 25 foot hurricane. Ah, Very nice. The wind's blowing through his hair. He's got cool fucking sunglasses on. Yeah. We'll throw it up on our Facebook. Yeah, do that, please. Yeah. Cool please. shades. Yeah. <laughs> He's wearing cool shades. Yeah. Where did pretty cool huh come from? Well, it was either Danny or Travis. Of course. It was in the K Rock days. And they so oh. when Eric was sitting at that, you know, in studio Nagel Zone. The Nagel Zone. When he was at his table and everything. And he, he lots of times had an intern with him, and Eric was taking his usual mentor leadership role. Yes. yes. And I think it was some kind of signed something, UFC shirt, some kind of a piece of clothing that was signed. Oh, no. And he took it out, and I don't remember which intern it was, but he showed the intern this signed piece of clothing, and he said, hey... And he took it out and said, "Oh, it was Pat Duffy." Okay, oh, Pat Duffy. Yeah. Maybe he's the one. Maybe he just ratted Eric out then because he used to do that a lot. <laughs> yes, he and did. He, and he took it out and he went, "Pretty cool, huh?" <laughs> and I guess if it was Pat Duffy, whatever intern it was, couldn't have looked more disinterested. <laughs> <laughs> so he did not think it was pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what was it, Eric? I don't know. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm hearing this story. Oh. So. It was like a UFC autograph. Who gives a shit thing? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think Pat Duffy alerted us to uh pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And then it became sort of a phenomenon. Phenomenon, yeah. 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 Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. It's hard just, not to say it. Yeah. It, it really well, you got to say huh after. Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? And I've been saying it now for years. <laughs> Cuz you saw the picture. Anytime the boat I picture. see a boat, <laughs> I just cool, go huh? pretty cool, huh? Cuz uh that is uh, the Nagel line. That's actually a good. That's a good centerfold for boats down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for your book. Yeah, boats down there. Pretty cool, huh? I can have a section of pretty cool, huh? I could yeah. like do the uh, the Nagel pick, and maybe Iraq could pick his favorite shots of boats his favorite taken boats. from bridges. I think it would be that shot though. Yeah, that's a good one. His yeah. boat, cool, cool glasses, nice blue water. Yeah, we- did Florida spiked hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. From Florida, which he's not, but every picture he has is from Florida. He's obviously from Florida. I don't think I've ever seen one picture of him on Long Island. No, there are none. Ratso Rizzo like Florida less than you. (laughs) (laughs) It's up on our Facebook. I know, right? (laughs) Who cares? It's fucking great.